After the remarkable success of ISRO's lunar mission Chandrayaan-3 and the Aditya-1 mission to study the Sun, India is now preparing to launch the Samudrayaan mission to study the deep sea. Under the Samudrayaan mission, a manned submersible is designed to be sent 6 kilometers under the deep ocean to study the deep ocean resources such as precious metals and minerals. The ocean craft Samudrayaan is being developed by the National Institute of Ocean Technologies NIOT Chennai. Which makes the mission more special is that this is India's first manned ocean exploration mission. The project is another sign that India wants to increase its clout globally as an innovator in science and technology, particularly in space and other unexplored regions. Here in Rajuju, the Earth Sciences Minister posted photos of the submersible on X, saying the mission will send three people to a depth of six kilometers, about four miles, and will not disturb the ocean ecosystem. This is Matsya 6000. Submersible under construction at National Institute of Ocean Technology at Chennai. India's first manned deep ocean mission, Samudrayan, plans to send three humans in six kilometer ocean depth in a submersible to study the deep sea resources and biodiversity assessments. The project will not disturb the ocean ecosystem. The deep ocean mission supports the blue economy vision of Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji and envisages sustainable utilization of ocean resources for economic growth of the country, improve livelihoods and jobs, and preserve ocean ecosystem health, Rijuju wrote on X. Well, what is the Samudrayan mission? The Samudrayan mission is the first manned submersible mission of India that aims to develop a submersible that will carry three people to a deep ocean depth of 6,000 meters with a suit of scientific sensors and tools of deep ocean exploration. The mission has been developed with an endurance of 12 hours for normal operation and 96 hours in case of an emergency. Under the Samudrayan mission, a submersible called Matsya 6000 will undergo trials in the Bay of Bengal off the coast of Chennai in early 2024. Currently, a team of scientists are looking into the design more cautiously after the implosion of the Titan submersible which took tourists into the Titanic wreckage in the North Atlantic Ocean in April this year. Matsya 6000 is a remotely operated vehicle ROV, which has been developed by the National Institute of Ocean Technology NIOT Chennai, an autonomous institute under the Earth Science Ministry. According to the official information, the Matsya 6000 submersible's passenger will include two lying prostrate and one operator of the titanium alloy to withstand water pressure. The passengers will be communicating to the researchers through acoustic waves at 6,000 meters as the pressure will be more than 600 more times more than the pressure at sea level. The main aim of the mission is to explore the deep oceans which have abundant mineral resources like polymetallic nodules, cobalt-rich manganese crust and hydrothermal deposits, out of which Polymetallic nodules are valuable metals such as copper, cobalt, nickel and manganese as per the National Institute of Ocean Technology. The country expects to complete building the submersible by 2026 and it will have a similar design to Ocean Gate's Titan which went missing near the Titanic's resting place in the North Atlantic Ocean. The US Coast Guard later announced that the submersible underwent a catastrophic implosion that killed all five people on board, who were on an expedition to see the Titanic's wreckage. The news forced Ocean Gate to suspend all exploration and business operations.